We are less than a week now from the new year, and for some, the saying new year might also include having a new job. And we get some stats from the U.S. labor market that shows us jobs are out there. The latest numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows us about 199,000 jobs were added just last month. But something you need to be aware of is there are people out there trying to take advantage of those of you trying to find a new job. As our iTeam producer is about to show us, she came across one woman who says she almost fell victim. My name is Kelsey Mitt Tower. I'm a producer here at CBS News Texas. We have a tip line that anybody can leave us messages about things they want us to investigate or consumer complaints. And that's how I met a woman named Shirley. Uh, she was looking to get back into the job market and pretty quickly stumbled upon a scam. You didn't fall for this. I didn't fall for it, but I almost did. Shirley Delk says it started like any other job hunt by filling out applications online. And I applied on a Sunday night and the next Next morning, I got an email from someone telling me, okay, we like your profile and all that. We're going to let you talk to the, to the hiring manager. The company was Santex Construction, a business she thought was based in the Houston area. But right away, there were red flags. Delk says she was hired the same day by someone who gave her a vague job description and then told her a check was already in the mail. They would send me money to purchase my equipment, which would have been my computer, my printer, anything that I needed. The next day, less than 48 hours after she had applied, the $6,800 check arrived at her door. She was told to deposit it, then call back for more instructions. And I said, well, okay, if I do that, what about my W-4? And he's like, okay, you get all their documents after that. So that's when I knew it was the scam. Why wouldn't a, a real company, wouldn't they just buy the equipment? Buy the equipment. Yes. They buy their own equipment. Just send it to you. Instead <laughs> of making it all difficult. Yes. Employment scams are attractive to the con artist because if you think about it, one of the first things that you give up to your employer is your sensitive information. Monica Horton is with the Better Business Bureau. She says employment scams are one of the most common scams reported in North Texas and that many times while the company may be real, the job is not. Her advice? Check with the company's HR department to make sure they are really hiring for that position. Don't use the contact information on the job listing. Look it up on your own to make sure it's legitimate. And don't rush into giving away your personal information. You're so excited. You just got all this adrenaline going and you don't have time to really think, you know. Like, wait a second. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, what's your advice for other people who are looking for jobs online? To be very careful. And if it sounds too good to be true, it is not true. It is not true. Well, if you have a question, you got a tip, anything you want to talk to Ginger, just say hi or the rest of the I team. You can reach out to them. The phone number right there on your screen, the email as well. It, the email for you, KT, iTeam at KTVT.com. Have a look.